Hi and welcome back to Film Pickle after a long time. This is Pushkaraj and today I am reviewing Kabali. Yes, the Rajnikanth movie that has taken India by storm and broken all records. Same movie, Kabali. And all this confession here, I am a Rajnikanth fan, right? I love Rajnikanth personally as a person, as a human being, and yes, as a superstar that he is. I think he's the only genuine superstar in India. The only man worthy of being called a superstar in the future. Anyway, that apart, oh, obviously that is going to cloud my judgment a little bit, but that apart, I'm going to keep this review as honest and as clear as possible. A film pick always starts. So, Kabali. The story is good. It is decent. It has a great storyline, good plot point, very Malaysian in its influence in terms of the raid, raid 2. Even its treatment, it, it can be said to be very inspired by raid and raid 2 and those kind of movies. It has a typical gangster storyline with action put in with an emotional twist here and there. And very well held together in terms of the story. What sucks about the movie are the performances. Right. It is as if you've taken a bunch of cool kids and made them act in a movie. And like when you have money and talent, like you can't be doing it, why can't you fucking source better talent to act in it? Right? Rajni Khan is allowed to ham, but Rajni Khan is also not a hamming actor. And you actually see that when he performances along with Radhika Apte, who is the heroine in the movie, she has performed spectacularly well in the movie. Hers is the only acting which is brilliant. Apart from if, apart from her and Rajnikanth in the movie, I think everybody else is just overacted and hammed the shit through the movie. All right. So you have to block out your mind and keep this in mind that it's a Rajnikanth movie. Deal with it. You know, just overlook the performances and enjoy the movie for what it is, and maybe you'll be able to enjoy it a little more. Otherwise, it's just going to jar you in the way and you're going to walk out of the theater like my daughter always did. So. There's, there's one scene where Radhika Apte acts alongside Rajnikanth face to face and there you actually see Rajnikanth perform. Like then you know oh, oh hell, Rajnikanth does act. He actually feeds off the performance of his co-actors. And and in that one piece you see genuine acting. Apart from that, it's just Rajnikanth acting, Rajnikanth, which is brilliant. But the others having it just kills it, just kills it. It makes it torturous to watch in a way. But yes. What I have to give to this movie is the soundtrack. The soundtrack is so bloody amazing. I was sitting in the theater and downloading the soundtrack immediately as soon as I heard it. It's still on my phone on loop. I've been hearing it at home. I've heard it in Tamil and in Hindi. And I have all the songs running on loop on my phone even now. Like, Aab Hume is the track to die for. Like, it has everything you want from a Rajni track. It has the power, it has the sound. It is such an amazing performance piece. It's very western, it's very rock. Western, by, and by western I mean the cowboy western in its tune and hook. It's very rock and it has the Rajnikanth feel to it. You want to like walk out and put your hands through your hair in that song. When Rajnikanth comes out in the movie to that song, the theater bursts out and whistles and honestly I did too. So it's Rajnikanth, it's Rajnikanth entering in his own style to a great fucking awesome track and you have to love it, it is brilliant. So keeping all these things in mind, there's one more thing that needs to be added to it, the action sequences, the graphics of the action sequences and the choreography of the action sequences is again very raid, raid 2, very gr graphic, gritty, fun, well executed. It is not the typical Rajnikanth over the top action, it's very believable and yet very hard hitting which is what I loved about it. I loved a certain sequence in which they show a hand being blown to smithers with a shotgun. I love the scenes where he's smashing people's faces and breaking them. It can be a little too grunge and gory for certain soft hearted audiences but I absolutely loved it. As you know from my previous reviews I'm a fan of the raid kind of movies and this movie was so so raid in just so many ways. I absolutely loved it. I think I personally enjoyed the movie. I saw it keeping in mind that it's a Rajnikanth movie and I have to overlook all the other shitty performances in the movie and therefore I loved it. On an objective basis, I'd probably give it a 5 out of 10 but because I'm a Rajni fan and I enjoy the Rajnikanth genre of movies, 
he has his own genre of movies, you have to fucking deal with it, right? I give it a 6 out of 10, I suggest if you're not a Rajini fan, do not watch it. For a Rajini experience, if you actually want to enjoy a Rajini movie, I still suggest going and watching Sivaji, which is by far the best Rajini movie I have ever seen myself in the Rajini genre, not when he was doing typical emotional drama. In the Rajini genre, Shivaji is the best Rajini movie ever, for me personally, and I suggest you watch that. For others who are Rajini fans, definitely watch Kavali, absolutely worth a watch. And apart from that, if you're not Rajini fans, just skip it and wait for a year full of amazing movies coming up ahead this year. You have loads of Marvel and DC movie coming out, loads of superhero action and great movies coming out. There's a lot to look forward to this year. I think I need to keep my bank accounts pretty well stocked to watch all these movies or find a sponsor to make me watch all these movies so that I can review them for you for free. So that's it. That's all about Kabali. Kabali fans, Rajin Khan fans, go watch it. Others, please skip it. And this is Pushkar Ashurke signing out for Film Pickle. See ya, guys.